a couple of class sessions just to talk about what are the issues. If you wanted to tell people why they should pay attention to Mark Twain um, and what his relationship was to California, what would the main things you'd want to talk about be? And so we came up with a whole bunch of questions, a whole bunch of things that we wanted to, to elaborate on. And then we realized that they kind of went in a lot of different directions. And so we needed something to hold it all together. So what you see here is a distillation of what we come to think of as the, as the heel of this book. And there were a lot of intersections. We had a bunch of students who were interested in 19th century music because they saw how frequently Mark Twain talked about music. Another uh, group that was very interested in the way um, ideas of a proper, a proper etiquette changed, especially given that most people's ideas of etiquette really came from Europe and were governed by at least an East Coast idea. And Mark Twain, as a Westerner all his life, had a very complicated relationship, shall we say, with um, East Coast ideas of propriety. And Angel's Cat was very, very instrumental in helping to create the, um, the precipice that he went on as a journalist and moving into becoming more of a cynic and a humorist that we know him to be today, uh -huh. juxtaposing the two visions of East and West. And how he became there was when he, when he started losing all his money in mining and he realized he needed a real job, he started um, going into journalism and he started writing. And he knew a mutual friend in San Francisco, he ended up moving to San Francisco to work for this person. But as a writer there, he got himself into trouble because he was very matter of fact and he didn't like anything that was unjust, so he would write about it. We got him in a lot of trouble and him and his friend were ending up going to be arrested. So they had to leave San Francisco to avoid being arrested and they came to Angel's Camp. And actually it wasn't Angel's Camp they landed in. They went through it and they ended up in Jack Hill in Swallowing County. He visited here often and the people here and the lifestyle here that was going on during the gold rush time, really he could empathize with them because he sort of lived through that, through his mining expeditions. But the empathy was sort of more at a distance now. And he was in this different class level as a writer. But fleeing from San Francisco and hiding out here was able to give him a distance and being more of an unknown. And he could kind of write about it. And he started jotting about it actually after he left. But the, the, the effect that Angel's Camp had on him as a writer and a humorist and a cynic continues through it out of all of his work. And you'll see the evolution of him not only as a writer but also as a man.